Everybody. my name is Heather welcome back to my channel today I am going to share a, a craft with me video with you guys I've been making these little houses lately and um, I thought I would walk you through kind of like how I've been making them uh, they are so cute and they're kind of Christmassy but like this one here I feel like it could be an all-year type of little house whereas this one is more of a Christmas theme um, this is the first one that I made and I took some vintage wallpaper and put like the roof on and then I added a little angel behind some wax paper here and some little trim and um, a vintage tinsel wreath and then there's like the little baby Jesus is here peeking through the window I don't know if you can see um, and then there's like some little angels there so so sweet so yeah, so this one I have tucked onto my fireplace mantle and I have some like lights that that are behind it. So it kind of like lights through the window. But then like these little ones I was thinking would be really sweet in a journal. You could, you know, use them as a tag or a pocket or like a flip out or something. So yeah, so I'm gonna, um, I just sort of used my scraps actually to make these. So I'm just going to walk you through while I make a couple. I had already picked out a few papers that I want to use for the next one. And I'll show you my little dish here. Let's see. I have a dish full of scraps. Just all kinds of different bits of... And I mainly picked out the ones um, that are just like all like script like the different shades of white because that was kind of what I was wanting to use for um for the houses so like for example like this one like that could be part of the house and then you could take that well what I was trying to do is mix up the whites so like make like a lighter roof and then a darker house you know so I kind of really picked and choosed between the the darker tones of my scraps and paired them with like the lighter tones so that's that was kind of what I did so for this one I want to use this little scrap here as the house and then I thought I would use this as the roof and maybe this as the door so that's my plan so we'll see how it turns out. And I'm going to move these out of the way and get started. Um, you will just need some scraps, some glue, some glitter. So I've been using this. Um, this is some um, glass glitter and it's silver. And it's um, if you watched my previous video for the prayer card tags, I used this in that too. And it's like such a beautiful glitter. Um, you can find it on Etsy if you search fine silver glass glitter and it's just an amazing glitter and it's especially beautiful for Christmas because it's super super sparkly and it actually does tarnish over time so that makes it really kind of fun to use like it when I say it tarnishes it just gets like a an aged color like a darker darker color but it's still very glistening even whenever it's tarnished so so we're going to use some of that and what else? So I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac glue and also just some Elmer's glue to put on the glitter. So um, I don't really have any actual process other than I just kind of cut the paper to where I think it's going to look good as a house. So like for this one you know it's kind of like that wide and I like this big number here so I think I'm gonna cut like right there 
So that's all I'm doing is just kind of gauging the actual scrap itself and creating the little house body just however I like it. Like this book page, maybe I would cut like that, you know, so they don't have to be a certain size. You can just do whatever. And then the roof, as you can see, this one is not even. It's just kind of willy-nilly. So now this one, well, I guess that one's not even either. It's like higher up on this side. So this is very typical of how I create. I am never measure. I'm always just, you know, just cut and go with it. So I'm just going to take this piece of paper and kind of gauge where I want the the roof line to be. So I'm just going to cut right there. And I think I'll just leave that other side kind of uneven because I don't really mind that. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and cut up and cut down. And as you can see, this side is a little bit longer than this side, but to me that is totally okay. So we will just kind of line it up like that. And then I think I'm going to cut a little bit off of this bottom so that it's not quite as tall. So this is basically my measuring is just using my scissors and kind of having to play with with the papers. So um, let's see. So now for the door, I wanted to use this maybe for the door. So I think I will cut it here and here. So I'm just going to do that and that. Yeah, I think I like that. Yeah, okay. So now we have the door, the um, roof, the house. And then I would like to add a little window here. So I have cut out some of these little um, shapes from this little punch that I have. It's a, let's see, it's like a uh, oval shape, but it has, you know, that little scallopy edge. And I just cut out a couple little shapes with that. And I'm going to use one of these as a window. So I actually think I'm going to use the, um, I like this embossed paper. So I think it kind of blends in, but that's okay. Like the texture, I feel like in the end, it's going to look pretty. So I'm going to go with it. Okay, so then what else do I want to do? I want to add a roof to it. So I have cut these little strips of, of things. Um, again, if you watched my prayer card video, you saw that I've been using this gold rickrack this, this Christmas season, and I am in love with it. So I just took some little strips of some linen. This is um, little strips of sari silk. This is the rickrack. And then I have this gold glitter ribbon as well. And I have little strips sitting here of all this. So I just kind of took little strips. These were actually leftovers from another project that I was like kind of working on. So, so I have these sitting here and I think I'm going to put a little bit of this rickrack up on top of this door like that just as a little decoration and then I'm going to use these as like the roof line so basically you're just having to play with your scraps you're just kind of cutting things and piecing them together to make your little house so basically that's the gist of, of what I'm doing I want to glitter the door and Maybe glitter a little bit around the window. I think that's what I want to do. So, so yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to start gluing this together. 
and I will use my Fabri-Tac glue. Just start gluing. This is a really cute way to use up your scraps. And I wanted to make, um, like I really wanted to make Christmas houses like with this whole idea, but I was starting to run out of time. So I thought I would make some more neutral houses and then that way I could keep them up like all winter. need to get something behind that okay so so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue this whole piece to um, this piece of I had this file folder that was just an extra scrap from another project so I have glue everywhere so I'm just going to <laughs> glue this to this glue this to this And then just that will give you like a little bit of stability for your for your house so you could just use regular cardstock you don't have to you don't have to use this like I tea dyed this file folder and I used it for a project so I just have a bunch of pieces of it left over and since it's such a pretty color I've been using it kind of like as my base on a lot of things so then I'm just going to cut that out and it's okay if a little bit of that peeks through. Like that. Yeah. So there we go. Now we have like the basis of our little house. And I have quite a bit of glue along here. I hope that doesn't like mark later. Okay. So I am next I'm gonna glue these little these little strips of um fabric up here. Oh my glue is coming out so fast because I cut the tip. Oh there's my phone. I need to shut that off. Sorry. Usually I put my phone on like I turn the volume down or I put it on airplane mode when I'm doing a video because I feel like it just rings and rings. Okay, so I'm just going to glue that there like that. And do the same thing on the other side. Like this. Nothing is like perfect, which is kind of like makes it a little bit charming, I think how it just kind of a little bit messy. And then I want to, I think I want to add those in there. Let's see here. Do I? Um, I don't know. Okay, I'll come back to it. And then I'm going to take this little Rick Rack and cut, cut a little piece for above here. Like this. Just glue that on. Actually, I should have glittered around that door. Let me see if I can get that. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift this up a little bit. Now this particular scrap, of course, is very, very thin. So I won't be able to peel it back off. But um, I'm going to glitter that door. So I'm just taking a little bit of Elmer's glue, putting it on my finger. And I'm just going to go along the edge here. Like this. And I'm going to take it very carefully and dip it in my glitter just to get that little bit of sparkle along the edge. Like 
and I really like it imperfect. Like, see how there's just a tiny bit there? Like, that's totally okay with me. It does not have to all be covered. I, like, really like that imperfect, that imperfect look. So I'm going to add a little bit more here, a little bit more there. Yeah. Okay. That's good. All right. So now I'm going to glue the Rick Rack on. And just pop it at the top of the door like that. Um, this project is very kind of messy because you're working with glitter and glue. So I keep a little rag um, on my lap that's a little bit wet. So that way I can keep wiping my hands. And I know some people really hate using glitter, but <laughs> I love it. I think it's so pretty. I especially love it at Christmas time. So, okay. I'm still not sure if I want to add these up here or not. So I think I'll wait until the end to decide. Um, the next thing I want to do is add this little window here. So I'm going to glitter a little bit of that around that just so it like kind of stands out. So I'm just going to go real light around the edges. Now, you know, obviously you guys are going to have different scraps than me. So, you know, you can certainly use whatever you have and just use your imagination to kind of piece it all together. It's basically just like piecing all these little pieces together like a puzzle. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty. Okay, so let's glue that on. that there that looks super pretty so now like for this one I had this little bit of um it's actually just a piece of vintage tinsel that I had from something I don't know what but it's just like a scrap of tinsel and it has these little beads so I just cut off a little snip of it and that's what I used for the little doorknob which is so cute so I might do that or I could I have this little velvet um, bow so I could maybe do that I'm not sure what I want to do Or maybe both. Let's see. I like the bow, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. So I'm just gonna put a little bow here. Just tie a little piece of ribbon and make a bow. Or you could make a little wreath out of um, anything that you have that's kind of sparkly. You could put a little flower there. Like I have these little vintage millinery flowers like you could take a little tiny sprig of flowers and put them on there you could just do a lot of different things this is kind of big but um like on a smaller scale you could just put a bow you know if you want a little wreath there I kind of liked the plainer look to this one so I didn't put a wreath on that one but like on this one I used a piece of vintage tinsel and I made a wreath there and then I took that little gold ball from this little piece of whatever this is and I put that on there for the door so yeah okay so we have our bow which I actually really really like I think that looks cute I think I am gonna add these I kind of like that little touch of of color 
I wish I could hear you guys tell me what you think. If I should or if I shouldn't. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm just going to leave it. All right, so that one is done. Oh, we could add a little chimney, which would be cute. I have, I just took another piece of the um, file folder and I cut a little strip there and I just put a little glitter there just to make that chimney. But I was thinking like a ticket would be cute as a chimney, so I might use this. I have this one. Um, I have this one. I think I like this one. Yeah, I'm going to go with this one. Okay. But you could use any of your scraps for this. And you could add a little glitter if you want to, which I will do. And I'm just using my finger to add for the glitter, <laughs> which I always do, but you don't have to. You could be a lot more fancy than me. Okay. Just going to dip it in the glitter. And there we have a glittered chimney which is so cute really love that okay so now we have that one done and let's do one more let's see here well okay so I actually made this roof already and I was thinking about putting it with this piece of paper, which I really like. And then I also had this piece of um, vintage ledger, which I really like. And I kind of like how like this lettering is there. So I was sort of thinking that with this. Um, and then maybe like this piece for the roof. That's kind of what I was thinking. Or maybe this under the roof, like that, something like that. And I had already cut out this little door from, um, from a piece of sheet music that I had, which it kind of went with the darker tones because like I keep trying to mix those. So I was thinking on this one, it would look really, really nice. Maybe, maybe this side. Okay, so we'll just make these two. I'll just kind of make them. And then for this one, no, I don't think I like that. No, I think it needs to be like something kind of whitish. So maybe that, yeah, I like that. Oh, I think that is the same. That must've been a scrap from that roof. <laughs> yeah, it's the same. Okay, so that looks good. And then this looks good. Okay, so there's our, that's our bases. I don't know if I want a window here. Oh, I know what I was thinking. I was thinking about using um, a little piece of lace for the window. Or I like this too. No, it's this one. What is my little pieces of lace? Okay, so I had these little scraps of lace pulled out. Um, and I wanted to show you, where's the other ones? I had a few pulled out here. Yeah, like this one, and this one, 
even this one, but um, see how like it's like a little circle? So kind of look through your laces and you might have something that you could like use as a little wreath or even as a little window. Like that looks really cute as a window. So I might use that. Um, or, so I had this little piece of this lace and I thought it kind of is a square. So I think it would make a really cute window. Yeah, I'm going to use that. So for this lace, where is that? I want to show it to you. Here we go. Okay, so I bought this at Walmart, Unbel like if you believe that, and it is so pretty, like it has that little, I don't know, it's just really pretty, so um, I cut that little section out, and it's just kind of like a little square, so yeah, you could use that as a window, and then I had this other lace that has these like little kind of designs, so I cut one of them out, and I was thinking that would be really cute on top of, like, the door, just as a little addition. So that's my plan. So I'm going to start gluing now. Well, actually, I'm going to cut this roof. So, so I do think I'm going to use that underneath. It's going to make it a little bit straighter. And then take this and line it up with this. Cut that roof right. And then I'm um, just going to take my scissors and just go for it. So again, it's a little bit off but I kind of like that. So that's what we'll do with that. And let's see, do we like how that looks? I think so. It's kind of like a taller, taller little house. Okay, so I'm gonna glitter around this door and I think I'm gonna glitter around the bottom of this um, emboss paper. So get a little bit of glitter on my fingers. It's starting to get really, really dark here. So I hope this video is not too dark. It's like now that winter's here, the daylight is just never long enough. We're always, you know, dark by five. And then like usually starting at four, the light is just so dark, which I think that's about what time it is right now is about four, maybe like 3.30. Okay, so yeah, that looks pretty. Get my rag, wipe off my glue fingers, and then take this. Oh, my son is upstairs playing music really loud, so I don't know if you can hear that, but if you can, that's what that is. So we got a really big snowstorm um, two days ago. And we got, I think it was like eight inches of snow or something like that, which is quite a bit for us. But it was so pretty. And if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen me post a picture of the snow or a little video. I think I'm going to glitter just like the edges of this. Because the top part I'm going to cover with something, some type of um, little trim. So I won't worry too much about that. Although I kind of like it plain, so I'm not sure. Maybe I will just leave it. There we go. Then just glue all your pieces together. So yeah, I started to say earlier that I think this could be a really cute project for um, any time of the year, really, like at any of these little houses. But 
these particular ones that I'm making, I was thinking they would be really good like throughout the winter, not just, you know, not just for Christmas. Because I was, like I said, I was at first I was going to make Christmas houses. But then I started to run out of time because now Christmas is really upon us. And I think, I was thinking that what I might do is, um, I might just line these up like on my fireplace mantle and put the little houses like I have like a green garland um along the mantle so I might just do that oh this glue is just coming out like crazy okay this side Oh, that looks so cute. I love it. Let's get the glue off of there. Okay, so I'm going to take that piece of... Will it fit? Hmm, I might have to do two pieces. So, yeah. Let's just get the glue glue is really really a mess. I need to wipe it off. So if you use Fabri-Tac glue you know that it kind of comes out the top all the time like it just keeps coming. <laughs> it never kind of stays in the bottle and you always have to keep the the applicator so clean when you use it. So yeah so I'm just gluing that to um like a heavier base which you can use any kind of cardstock to do and I think I'm gonna have to add a piece for that top of that roof this one's kind of tall but it is very cute okay so There. Okay, and then just cut that off like that. And there we have it. So I don't know if I'm going to add anything to the top of that. I kind of like it just how it is. I'm not sure. Maybe this. Let's see. Do I have another one of those little things laying around? Oh yeah, I do. Okay. Actually, let's try it. Yeah, I do like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to add that for sure. Okay, and then just get that on there. So, is, so whenever I do videos, sometimes I have a hard time because I don't, on the, on the um, software that I use for my videos whenever I edit, I don't know how to stop my video and like speed up just certain, sec certain sections of the video. So it's kind of stopped me from doing some of these ones where, I mean, I do, I like, it's either I have to speed up the whole video or I, I, or I don't speed up at all. So like, I don't know if I'm just not knowing exactly how to do it or <laughs> if I'm just missing the, the setting in there that, you know, that would be in there. I'm not sure. So anyways, you'll have to tolerate me talking through this whole video because I'm not able to once I start talking I'm not able to speed it up <laughs> so sorry about that I think I'll just add this and then um that little piece of lace to maybe to the top let's see do we like that I don't know if I like that I think I like that 
it's kind of cute. Okay, I'm going to think about that. Um, I don't know. Maybe. No. It's like I feel like I need like a little wreath or something there. I don't know. I'm going to think about that. Okay, so then I'm just going to glue this one together really quick. Like I said, I already have the roof done on this one. I really love the different, like the white with the, um, with like the darker tones, like mixing that. It's just so pretty. And then I'm going to glitter around this door. Like that. And if you don't have any glass glitter, which I'm sure a lot of you don't. Um, my tip is like, if you're going to use glitter, make sure you use a, like a really nice grade of glitter, which you can get like at any craft store. Just get a little, make sure you get like the really fine glitter. It really does make a difference. I feel in your projects, it kind of keeps it from looking too little kiddish. You know how like little kids glitter is really thick and kind of like fake, fake looking. Whereas if you get yourself like a nice glitter, it will, um, it will really make a difference. So, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this to here. So that's one of my goals this year is to learn a little bit more about editing my videos like where I can take out because on a lot of my videos I say um all the time and I don't know why because in real life I don't ever go really around and say um 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 but I think I just my son said that um see there I go um my son said that I'm using my public speaking voice even though my face is not on the camera so I get a little nervous and I say um all the time so maybe that's what it is. I really don't know. But okay, so I think I like that. I don't know. Maybe this here. I'm not really sure what I want to put on there. Let's see here. What can I find? Maybe. Oh, I think I like that. That looks kind of cute. Maybe I will just leave it, this one, a little bit more plain. But I do like that, this gold stuff at the top. So let's add that. Get my, dropped my rag here. Okay. So let's put a little bit of gold he glue here. Add our little so this gold that I'm adding here is just all it is is ribbon that I bought at Michaels and I just cut it so that it wasn't as wide it's, it was kind of like a meshy meshy gold kind of like this one but um, if you watch my prayer card craft with me video I show the the ribbon that I used and I'm all out of it this is like my last little bit that I have so so yeah I think I will put this little wreath here on here like that and I think I will add this here So you could go crazy and you could embellish these as much as you want. You could add way more windows and different things like that. But I just kind of like the little bit of a planer approach. So for this one, I have to add um, that cardstock to the back, which I'm going to do after I turn the camera off because I'm out. I don't, I didn't bring enough to my desk. So, um, so yeah, so this is basically done, but I just have to finish that. And then this one is done, I think. 
This one I feel like I could add something to, but I'm just not exactly sure what. And then I love this one. Maybe we'll add another chimney to this one here. Oh yeah, that's so cute. Okay, we'll do that. The little tickets were cute for that. I like it a lot. So I really love the play on the papers. So like you've got the dark and then the really white and then the light and then the dark and then the mix with the silver and the gold just looks really, really pretty, I think. So yeah, so there we go. So we made all of our little houses and I just really love this project. I think it could be super cute in a journal. Um, maybe I'll do a little... Um, video tomorrow on making a page in my journal with one of these because I really wanted to do that. So I have this journal here that um, I got from Lovely Lotties on Instagram and this was the page that I was thinking one of these would look really sweet on because she has this white page here and then the the really beautiful um, like sheet music. So I was thinking about adding one of these to to this page and then making like a Christmas spread so maybe tomorrow I'll come back on and do that hopefully I will you may or may not see that so I, I'm not making any promises <laughs> but I will try and um, I hope you enjoyed this little project it's really fun I hope you guys feel inspired to make some little houses they're really simple they're not hard it's just sort of like an upscale version of a little kids craft I think you know you just kind of cut out pieces and and place them down and use really pretty materials and I think you get you know such a beautiful result at the end so thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time bye